Marie Cahan, and I'm an artist in residence at Mount Sinai, Chelsea. I love to make flowers, and we are going to make these beautiful lilies out of coffee filters, plain old coffee filters. So please come with me, and I'm going to show you how. So we're going to start off with coffee filters. These are number four cone filters, plain white. We have color is our Blick liquid watercolors. I teach watercolor painting and I love these liquid watercolors, but food coloring works great. You can use tubes of paint as well. I have little plastic disposable cups for each color, which are orange, green, and yellow. And we need two cups for the orange because we will have a light orange and a dark orange. Um, we need stems. Our stems are 24 gauge, which is the gauge that's very wiggly because we're going to wire the petals. Don't worry if you can't get these. You can use a bamboo skewer and I will show you how to do petals without wiring them. We're going to need Q-tips. Uh, these little stamens are Q-tips. I had to figure out how to do the stamens and this is a stigma. This is also made out of Q-tips. So we need nine Q-tips. We need glue. Today I'm going to use clear gel tacky glue, Aileen's, and you can also use Elmer's glue wall. That works wonderfully. Please have a separate cup for the glue if you're using the glue in a, in a plastic cup and have a foam brush. A foam brush is great, a separate brush for everything. We will also be using scotch tape today and a little piece of paper towel. Piece of paper towel cut about two inches by three inches. And that is it. We're gonna need, in terms of the amount of filters, one filter makes three petals. Uh, Lily has six petals, so we need two of them. For this project, we're going to color the petals. We're not gonna color the whole filter. So I've cut a petal, and it can be pretty much just rounded and then down to a taper. What I've done is I've made one that I like, so I can have all the petals being the same. I'm going to cut. Again, it's approximate. This is not really a template. It just makes the petals closer to being the same. I'm going to use this again, where it's folded in half. So you're going to get three petals out of this. If, if they're slightly different, that's okay, don't worry. Okay. So we're going to have six petals. I will do this with another coffee filter, but we don't need to do this right now. I'm going to show you how I do this. In order to get a color lighter or darker, all I did was I added a little water to orange because I'm going to use the dark orange as well as the light orange. Oh, yes, one other thing I should mention to you is a colored pencil. It could be gray or it could be light brown, but you want to have these little dots in the lily. It's part of what a lily looks like. You wouldn't want to miss that. If you don't have a colored pencil, you could use a fine line marker. I'm working on parchment paper, which is great. So you hold and I'm going to dry it on parchment as well. You can check the back, but we're doing, we're not doubling them, so they're quite thin. So this is the lighter orange. I will show you what we do with the darker orange. Getting a piece of paper towel. Like this. We only need one green filter, and that's going to be for our leaves. And one will be enough. And we need a light yellow. For our Q-tips. So I'm going to get everything that we need so that can be drying while we go on to other things. If you don't want to wait for everything to dry, you can use a hair dryer. And for the yellow, we need seven, so two, three, four, five, six, seven Q-tips. And you can either dip them in the light yellow, and this is just yellow that has a little water in it. So we're going to do this to seven, and then you can either do it before you color or after. Cut the tips off. So that goes with our yellow, and I already have seven that have already been done. So now your coffee filters are drying. Put that away. And 
and your Q-tips are drying. Just so I can show you all the coloring, I have the petals that are already done. Just wipe this off. It's so easy because the color just basically bubbles up on the parchment paper. It's very easy to work on and then you can reuse the parchment. So these have dried. They do dry lighter, so you really want to go with a full strength color. You want your color to be deep. Now, this was the light orange, which was orange with a little water. To make the darker orange, I just use orange full strength and just color towards the bottom. You can even put the dots in while they're wet. Just don't place them equidistant. You don't want to have like a polka dot. So that will, I put that out to dry. So you have light orange, then you put the darker orange on once the light orange dries. This is what it looks like. Slightly darker at the bottom in there. Now I'm going to show you how to do the stigma. And that is the central part. I have these drying. I'll show you how to make them. And then I've got my little trusty spice jar that I love to use because things can dry in there. So these we're going to use for our stigma. And I have two that are going to be for the center, the stigma. Cut the tip off. Lay them on a piece of yellow. You colored this a pale yellow. It's just a piece of paper towel, any old paper towel. And I did it yellow. You lay the two on there, and they don't have to be colored. I just had two colored ones laying around. And you take either your 18 gauge wire, let's do some tacky glue on here. And you can use the Elmer's glue wall as well. It really doesn't matter. Whatever you have on hand. So I'm going to put these not quite to the top. I'm sticking them in the glue. You will have your fingers a little bit glued together. So have a paper towel or just take a break and wash your hand. This is the stem of the whole flower that's going in here as well. Just start to roll it up. When you first start rolling it, you'll see your green stem. Remember, if you don't have the green wire, the 24 gauge wire, or you can use 18 gauge, but 24 is better for this project. The, the 24 gauge is real bendy. Twirl it at the bottom. Set it to dry, and it will dry looking just like this. So that's not such a big deal. I'm going to take one that's dry. This one is dry. And I am going to wipe my hands because I'm stuck together. Okay, now let's go on to the stamen. The actual lily has seven of these. You don't have to do seven. You can do less. Scotch tape is great for this. The stigma is a little bit taller. So just start taping on. You can tape a few at a time. It doesn't matter how much tape you have because you won't see it. I'm just going to do a few for now just as a demonstration so I can move on. Let me talk to you. So we're going to have the Q-tips are around the stamen. These have been wired. The one thing that's really significant about the lily is the bend in the petal. You can really play with the bend. And so these have been wired. I'll show you what you can do if you don't want to wire them. See, now I just wrap it around. And I can do that with all six. I'll show you what you can do if you haven't been able to find a wire. You can see as soon as I put them on, I can bend them and they're great. Let's take one that isn't wired. This one is not wired, and I'll show you how to wire them. You can just take a pencil, roll the tip around the pencil, push, 
and you get a curl. So you could definitely do that. If you wanted to wire them, you simply take a wire that's slightly longer than your petal. I've folded it in half. Take your glue either with a foam brush or Aileen's has a little spout that you can pour from. Put it in, not quite to the top, fold it in half and fold it back again. That's it. Now it's wired. It dries. There you go. Okay. So I won't spend the time to wire all six, but you can see how it's coming along. You have six petals. You have your center. And then for your leaf, your green leaf, I open it up. I cut the crimp off. Lilies have very long leaves, some long, some short. So by opening it up, I have a lot of possibilities. You don't need a template for this. We'll cut a long one. Nothing wrong with working with a template, but I like to kind of wing it. Short one, fold it in half. Also, with the green, you want to cover the stem. You can do this with floral tape if you don't have floral tape. I'll just use a little glue wall since I have it in the cup. Put a little glue wall on. You definitely want to cover all these wires. So you just put the green where the stem would meet the petals. And then you just wrap. You can wrap it down all the way down to the bottom. Just use a couple of pieces of green. It works just as well as floral tape. And then I'm going to take petal. Going to put it around the stem, give it a little twist. And there, this one is half done, but you can see the whole process. And this one is fully done. You have a lily. I've got two leaves on there. I've got the stem covered. I've got the stigma and the stamen and my dotted leaves. And now you can do it with wiring it or without wiring it and just rolling it around a bamboo or a pencil and you have a beautiful petal with spots. So thank you for joining me and I hope you've had fun. I love making these lilies. You can make them deeper orange, you can make them pale orange, you can make them yellow and you can even do a very dark pink. So have fun!